Hello and welcome to Curry TV. How easy is it to make a pickle at home? Right? So today I'm going to show you how to make gooseberry pickle. Very easy, very delicate, very, very easy and simple recipe that you can rely on any time of the day. Okay? Let me show you all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. I got some fenugreek powder. This is mustard seed split. You can buy this at your Asian market. This is whole mustard, fenugreek, turmeric powder, red chili powder. We need garlic, green chilies. Of course, we need curry leaves because this is the Kerala style pickle. And we'll be making all this in sesame seed oil. We need some water, vinegar, salt, and a mason jar to store this in. And I wanna to talk to you about the fenugreek powder. And we also need asafoetida. This actually preserves our, and gives a nice flavor to our pickle. So the fenugreek, here, so the fenugreek, this is the whole. You could dry roast it and get it into a powder form or you could buy it like so. I'm using Nerbera brand here. This is what I had on hand, but you can use any brand that you like, okay? So without further ado, let's start making this pickle. Recently, I had ordered some food from our groceries from our Asian market and I picked up some frozen gooseberries that are sliced. The benefit of this is it's already cooked, so we don't have to do a lot of work. If you've got fresh ones, you gotta make sure to pit it out, cook it for like about two minutes or so in nice warm water, bring it to a boil and let that completely come to room temperature before we add the, or make the pickle into it. I'm just using the frozen one and we already thawed it out. So I'm using two packets of gooseberries to make this pickle so that is all ready to go it's pre-sliced okay so each bag is about 11 ounce so i'm going to be filling my mason jar i find mason jars are the best ones to store our pickle in so use any type of mason jar that you have on hand you don't have to go shopping for this okay if you have any type of mason jar use that so once our pan is nice and hot let's pour in all our water which is one cup of water. Pan was really hot, okay? One cup of water. To it, I'm gonna add quarter cup of vinegar. We're gonna bring this to boil, and we're gonna also season all this, making sure our salt is dissolved in this so that we can add it to our pickle. So I'm gonna add, we need to have the saltness up front so I'm going to add quite a um, spoonful so that's three spoonful of um, salt in this let's bring that to boil in the meantime let's prep some of our garlic and green chilies in typical Kerala spices garlic is a very main thing we cannot avoid it so what we do is Make sure that our garlic is sliced very thick. Otherwise, it will be mushy. Once it all cooks together, you won't get that nice flavor of garlic. So what I'm gonna do is just slice it into nice, big, bite-sized pieces. So our water and vinegar are is combined and boiled very well together. I'm gonna turn off the heat and let that sit for a couple of minutes. And in the meantime, just like how we prepped our garlic, I'm gonna slit our green chilies into big size pieces. Okay, so our mix has, um, I turned it off. I'm gonna convert it into a different pan so we can use the same pan. Okay. In the meantime, this will rest. Let's keep working on our pickle. So I'm gonna just rinse it out and I'll be right back. Okay, let's heat up our pan. To that, I'm gonna add five to six tablespoons of sesame seed oil. You could use any brand that you want. I'm using an Indian brand here. Once that oil heats up, we're gonna add in our whole mustard and fenugreek, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, oil is nice and hot. This is half a teaspoon of mustard. 
it will start sputtering and then we'll add our whole fenugreek this is quarter teaspoon of fenugreek whole fenugreek we are also adding powder from it so calculate it ahead of time so that you can obviously it will become very very bitter okay mustard is sizzling let's add in our fenugreek quarter teaspoon of fenugreek let's give it a toss and goes in our green chilies so depending on your spiciness I'm adding seven to eight Thai chilies you could add more or less um, that's green chili split and about five uh, cloves of garlic okay let's saute all this together lower our flame because then right now we're going to add in all our spices we need to make sure that rawness of garlic and green chilies is gone before we add our spices to it so let's add in our spices i've reduced my heat to very very low at this time we're going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder we need that vibrant yellow color in our pickle and about four tablespoons of red chili powder if you have paprika use two tablespoons of that and two tablespoons of kashmiri chili where you are controlling the color and the spiciness we like it really spicy so therefore i'm adding four tablespoons of red chili powder it's already pre-measured i'm going to add all of this into it so this is whole mustard split you could make this at home with your whole mustard or you could buy a packet like this especially for pickles this is really nice i'm going to add one spoon for one tablespoon of split mustard we're going to saute all this together so that spiciness the masala's raw smell goes away you should see the color it's really really red I, this time you might be thinking it's too spicy but no because we are adding two packets of that gooseberries because we all kids and uh, adults also enjoy this recipe that's why i'm using green chili split if you want to control the spiciness you could do chop them up into small um dice it up or you could split it like how i'm doing now let's add our curry leaves into this one full stem goes in i didn't add it earlier because as soon as i add the curry leaves it will splutter and it will be all over the place at this stage it's it does its job but doesn't do a whole lot of mess beautiful what I like to do next is introduce our hero to our spices which is gooseberries two packets of it's an 11 ounce packet I'm using two frozen green um, frozen gooseberries it's already thawed out I kept it in the fridge overnight so there's no water content in here so all of the gooseberries goes into our spice spice blend saute all this together so that rawness of the that frozen feel of gooseberries that's all gone at the same time they're covered with all our spices it's really really tempting to just pick out and eat one of those gooseberries but wait but that's it it's going to add more flavor to it so i'm going to increase my flame here and saute this all together for about four to five minutes since our gooseberries are already cooked it doesn't take a lot of time so just keep an eye on it toss it and mix it around for a few minutes and then we're going to add in a few more ingredients which is our fenugreek powder so this is just a pinch not even a full quarter teaspoon just just a pinch of fenugreek powder all of that goes in along with asafoetida about quarter teaspoon if i were to measure it all that in let's mix it up as soon as you add that asafoetida into your pick <coughs> pickle it actually <coughs> will start talking to you so lower your flame and do that okay in the meantime our 
mix of vinegar, water and um, salt has cooled down. Let's and add all of this into our pickle. As it sits, it will absorb all that flavor. So don't worry, it might look like it's watery, but it won't. Okay. When we make pickle at home, you can control the spiciness, you can control all the ingredients that you're putting in, um, as well as the salt also. When, usually when you buy a pickle from the store or online, you will get a thick layer of oil on top of it, and that's that sesame oil. That's because it uh, is a preservative to keep that pickle well in. And after when you open it, you can drain off that excess oil or mix it in. We like to let that you know, control the oil in the pickle. Very good. I'm going to cover it and cook for another three minutes, maximum three minutes. You don't have to do it for a long time. Just three minutes. It's just so that it just thickens up everything and it's uh, all that spices. I didn't add salt directly into our gooseberry because it's frozen. It has, um, once you dilute it or once you dissolve that salt in vinegar and water, you can make sure it's all well all in there right all mixed in there okay i can hear the boil so i'm just yeah perfect so now we're going to turn off the stove mix it all together and let this sit once this is cooled off transfer all of this into a mason jar and once it's all really really cooled off you can close it and use it according to your desire it's ideal to keep it aside at least for a few days so that flavors get to play around with each other get to know a little okay so with this amount you'll be able to make one full mason jar this size I don't know what the size of this mason jar is but who cares what size it is just store it and see it comes like so so all that water absorbed into our gooseberries and it's not loose it's actually really thick so this is one way to have gooseberries in your life the other way i already showed you brine so thank you so much to all those feedbacks asking where i got it from it was from an asian market a local indian market and they were restocking it while we were there and i i believe i took about eight or nine packets at the time Oop, okay it sealed um i took about eight or nine packets at the time and i brined it um and then i was thinking about oh i should make pickle out of it um, and then I ordered it online. They they delivered to us and this is how we make pickle at home. So you can use this recipe, this, all those measurements to for any of them. So say for carrot, for mango, substitute the gooseberries for anything that you desire. So this is one way to have a Kerala cell pickle in your life. So I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and you learned something new. And to all those love and support that you guys have given us, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Stay healthy, stay positive. We are all in this together. We'll face it together and we'll deal with it together, okay? Till next time, bye-bye.